Hey everyone, it's Lexi and today I'll be doing a review of Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. So for those of you who don't know, this is a historical fiction novel about a girl named Sarah who is a Jew living in France during World War II. And this, basically, the main premise of the story is kind of Sarah and how her family were part of the roundups of the Jewish people in France and how when she's being taken away by the police, she locks her brother up in the um, in like a secret cupboard and she keeps the key. So this kind of, when she's at these like concentration camps and like kind of like the camping places where they ship the kids off, it's kind of her story and how she's trying to escape to save her brother. And it kind of revolves around that. And it, um, what's interesting about this book is that it has a dual storyline between like between the past and the present. So flash forward to 2002 and Julia is a reporter, an American who's living in France and she is asked to write a like um, I think it's 60 year um, piece like a, it's going to be the 60 year anniversary of these roundups and th it's something that the French people are actually shamed about and not a lot of people know about it. So they're doing kind of like a 60 year memorial for them and she's doing an article on them and she well she's kind of um, researching for this she kind of stumbles upon Sarah's story and she's so intrigued and she wants to know more about what happened to Sarah and her family and it, it's just a really good book. I really like this because it was some parts were written from Sarah's perspective so it was inter interesting to see kind of like a child's perspective of the war and just kind of how how the she kind of lost her innocence and you can kind of see that and that's really heartbreaking. I really like the character of Julia. I thought she was very resilient and even all the things that she's going through, I think it was, I like that element in it because it does have like a little contemporary flair into it. And then you get attached to both characters. I really liked how there was kind of like a big twist in it. Um, there's kind of a connection between Sarah's family and Julia's, like kind of the, her French side of the family. And I thought that was really interesting. I think a great deal of this novel focuses on how innocence is lost during war. I thought this novel did a really good job of showing that and how it kind of brought light to a part of history that we've kind of forgotten about and one that you don't really hear about. I never learned about this in school, I know for sure, and this kind of brought light on me. And part of it was factual. You can tell the author did a lot of background research and she has like, um, there's like an interview in the back of here. So there's like an interview in the back of the book where the author kind of explains the events and how she kind of created this fictional story about something that did happen in real life. So I gave this book a four out of five stars. It was very well done. And if you're looking for like kind of like a different World War II story, then I highly recommend that you check this one out. It was very well done. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book or if you're interested in what your thoughts and opinions were on it. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!